Welcome to Overworld. Trust forms the cornerstone of any relationship be it a friendship a romantic partnership or a familial bond. In this video we will delve into 10 traits outlined by Stoic philosophy that should raise red flags when considering trust foremost it is imperative to observe and evaluate individuals for these characteristics thankfully this is a straightforward process simply analyze their words and actions to discern their true nature now now let's shed light on each of these personas and understand why trusting them is ill-advised before we proceed kindly ensure you are subscribed to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and as always be the best version of yourself let's move on to the first category the narcissists when dealing with narcissistic individuals the stoics remind us not to let their behavior disrupt our inner peace maintaining indifference towards their self-center action safeguards our mental tranquility amidst their vanity consider this if someone habitually talks about themselves and seldom considers others they are hardly reliable their focus is primarily on themselves consistently prioritizing their own needs regardless of who they are trusting a narcissistic individual is a risky endeavor they elevate their self-image above all else often at the expense of others this compulsive need for self-admiration can lead them to take extreme measures to maintain their desired facade they are the type who readily shift blame onto others for their own mistakes hence exercise caution with those who excessively self-promote and impose their opinions without listening the second category are the gossiper stoicism also guides us in handling gossip and hurtful words it stresses the importance of not giving undue weight to others opinions about us if someone readily shares secrets or spreads information about others they're likely to do the same to you gossiping about you behind your back trusting gossip is a misstep as their inclination to spread information is driven by pleasure not discretion the third type are those who persistently provoke irritation when it comes to dealing with vexing or manipulative individual stoicism advocates for self-reflection rather than reacting emotionally we can pause and consider how our own perceptions and reactions shape the situation while it's understandable to lose patience during challenging times it's different when you find yourself perpetually irked by a specific person if someone consistently has the ability to provoke irritation they likely do so through subtle provocation sowing seeds of doubt in small almost imperceptible doses beware of these subtle games if someone persistently irks you it's because they are covertly prodding you with words and gestures the fourth type are those who are indecisive stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control our decisions and actions trusting someone who perpetually wavers in decision making is a dubious proposition how can you rely on someone who struggles to chart a course for their own life there unpredictability arises from an undeveloped unstable personality trusting an indecisive person is akin to entrusting a child with a sharp tool dangerous and unpredictable the fifth type are the two-faced in dealing with those who wear two masks stoicism advises caution instead of fixating on their actions we should focus on nurturing virtue within ourselves we've all likely encountered individuals who appear friendly to your face but spread rumors behind your back this behavior extends to others as well be prepared for disparaging comments from these two-faced individuals when you notice such behavior it's best to distance yourself from the relationship promptly don't let the opportunity to master your emotions slip away the sixth type are the people who are overly curious stoicism emphasizes the need to set boundaries in conversations and share information judiciously be wary of those with insatiable curiosity as it can lead to the disclosure of sensitive information this curiosity may also be rooted in envy it's vital to be cautious about whom you confide in as it's challenging to be certain that your information won't be used against you in the future while it's normal for people to ask about your life in the course of conversation be cautious of those who incessantly probe especially on sensitive matters such individuals warrant caution and if possible distance the seventh type is the universal friend stoicism reminds us that we can't control how others perceive us instead of seeking universal approval it emphasizes the importance of 
authenticity we've all encountered. Individuals who seem universally affable. Always eager to please and befriend. Everyone while there's nothing. Inherently wrong with these traits it's. Important not to blindly trust them. Often such individuals seek popularity. And aim to be the center of attention. For them you're just one among many. Easily replaceable be cautious of these. Extroverted popularity seeking. Personalities as they tend to shift. Allegiances swiftly. The eighth type are the perpetual. Critic stoicism underscores the significance of self-evaluation instead of devoting time to criticizing others the stoic focus is on self-improvement individuals who habitually criticize others often, resorting to gossip or rumors likely, possess questionable character those who invest time in disparaging others are unlikely to be productive responsible. Individuals be wary of these critics as their readiness to malign others suggests a lack of Virtue I appreciate you if you have made it this far leave a comment if you were previously trusting someone with traits from these categories but hold on there are still two more types to discuss the ninth type involves those perpetually embroiled in problems. Stoicism urges us to take ownership of our decisions and emotions rather than blaming fate or circumstances beware of individuals who constantly find themselves in conflicts and dramas perpetually claiming ill. Fortune they paint life as a series of punishments and endless string of difficulties be cautious of such individuals for their tendency to attract problems is not mere coincidence. It's not the universe conspiring against them but rather their own self-sabotage they likely make poor decisions fail to learn from mistakes and struggle to manage their emotions steer clear of this type as sympathizing with their woes can quickly entangle you in their web of problems. And finally the tenth type are those who fiend listening in situations where people pretend to listen stoicism, advises assertiveness and if necessary, distancing ourselves from unproductive conversations we've all encountered, individuals who when you share an idea or speak respond with a perfunctory yes, or I understand it's not just annoying, but can be disrespectful at a minimum a conversation requires genuine attention. If you notice someone one isn't genuinely listening or worse there, engrossed in their phone or simply feigning interest it's best to cease. Talking conversing with someone who isn't truly engaged is a futile endeavor. If this happens feel free to stand up and leave you're not obligated to spend time with someone uninterested in your thoughts in conclusion analyzing these various types of individuals provides invaluable lessons for fostering authentic and meaningful relationships. By integrating Stoic wisdom we learn to preserve our inner peace cultivate, virtue practice authenticity and exercise self-control in challenging situations thank you for your attention, and may you find wisdom and fulfillment in your personal journey and as always, be the best version of yourself.